fast paced, more exciting. People say it's a mix of like Melee and Project M put together. Yeah, you know? I mean, I guess Project M like was a kind of like, uh, you know, modeled after Melee, so it makes sense that they're they're kind of more similar. I know Project M players like this game, and uh, it, it's definitely for me. It feels like a healthy between um, Smash Four and Melee, if anything. Ooh, Edmund, you definitely had a point there. Let's talk about this matchup here. We got a Rob coming yeah, from def Temp. Definitely then, not a melee matchup. Yeah, certainly. And then we have Mr. Game & Watch. So I'm really excited to see this one here. And he's throwing out the top, but he was able to sneak up from the back there. You really want to stay uh, behind Rob because a lot of his moves go forward, you know? Yeah, and uh, Vader's actually putting on a lot of damage. I'm not uh, totally surprised. He's actually one of our uh, best Game & Watch mains from SoCal, uh, residing in the Inland Empire region. Um, so definitely excited to see what he does here. And what he's doing is putting the world of Hurt onto Temp, who just cannot find a way in with this Rob yet. He gets the down throw. Tries to connect with an immediate up smash, interestingly enough. Uh, characters pop out of that pretty instantaneously, so you want to go for like a, a quicker move, and if there's at this sort of percent, the up smash isn't quite going to connect. Here we go. We just need to see one kill move coming out from Vader here, and he was able to with the key. Yeah, the down air going to connect. A great aggressive option to get back down to the stage, and he's going to continue with that aggression. He's got some grab combos. The down throw is in there. And wow. uh, catches the landing with another down throw into Nair. And he's just a fiend for them, man. He's getting the jab on the platform. Uh oh, Temp's got a, uh, got a DI and jump out of it or something. I mean, he's just taking a bunch of unnecessary damage. It's tough when j you're stuck in jabs there, but I believe on the ninth frame or something, you you can shield roll out of you it. You can roll out. Yeah. Um, yeah, for sure. I think in that situation, because he was at the edge of the platform, he could have just uh, held back and then jumped out of it. Definitely. Let's hope that um, he does that at some point. But right now, we got a really great edge guard. Ooh. He goes so deep with that key. You're talking about edge guards, and Vader was like, "Oh, you try to edge guard me? Let me edge guard your edge guard." <laughs> Up B gonna connect. Comes out so fast and dragged Temp all the way up to the stage. Not going to be able to get the tech for the uh, stage fight. Let's go, and he's still living on his first stock right now, but we're seeing some progress here, and ooh, he was ooh. able to get him off the stage, taking off Vader's first stock. Progress indeed already, one full stock, uh, and Vader not going to let him up with this damage here. Uh, interestingly enough, I, I was going to talk about the bucket exactly. He's got a full bucket now. Oil Panic might do the trick. I forgot what he's uh, bucketed so far, but the uh, knockback of Royal Panic and the damage is dependent on what moves he absorbs. <laughs> and what a great call from Vader there. There you go. You called it, Edmund. Like you were like, Be he's beating up the gyroscope. Yeah, he just knew exactly what uh, Temp wanted to do, and he ran up in his face, let it go. Uh, so great game one for Vader there. Solid two stock. I would say uh, I wanted to talk about the bucket specifically because, like, of how good it is in this matchup in particular. In this game, Game & Watch's bucket is now not only uh, absorbs energy projectiles, but it reflects all physical projectiles. Wow. So the gyro and stuff like that, it'll reflect. The laser, it'll absorb. Um, so it's, it's going to be difficult for Rob to actually freely use his zoning tools. That's interesting. I'm learning so much about the bucket today. I didn't know that it took in the damage input of like the moves it absorbs. So really cool info there. And let's see, maybe he'll take advantage of that. In this next match, wow, he tried to throw out a hammer, but he landed the three. Let's see here. But they're both at 37% here. And I believe that Temp is playing way more aggressively this match. I'm really adoring it. Look at that, going for the up airs. Yeah, he kind of, it's like I mentioned, he, he's realizing the uh, bucket kind of eliminated his, his uh, projectile zoning, so he has to box a lot more, opting to shoot the Lloyd rocket from like a max distance and not using his projectiles at, at a point blank range. Up smash right there, not going to get the uh, um, the suction hitbox. And he oh tried to God. throw out a nine hammer just yeah. now. Imagine if that was the other way around. Oh! oh. And Temp here taking off the first stock off of Vader. What a really great start for him. Yeah, and he's only at 77% now. Make that 80. The Chef going to come out. Try to catch the roll into the stage with the down smash. Vader not going to be successful, but he's still got the advantage. Ah, he keeps going for that same edge guard time and time again. And it's working out for Vader. He's able to secure the stock right here and even out the percent. Actually taking the lead down throw into double neutral errors and the up B on the way out. 
Wow, oh, right here. And he's trying to get back onto the stage. He goes so deep with that key. I always feel like he's going to fall off the stage, but he always recovers from it. Vader gave Temp so much tech practice at this point that he got two techs in a row. He's not going <laughs> to fall to the next uh, downer to up B edge guard. Hopefully, I mean, with enough percent, it may become untechable, and it's not going to matter. Uh, here, I would reckon he's still going to live, but the directional air dodge coming out, and Temp going down to his last stock. Vader sitting comfortably at 20% on his second stock. Wow, and he's throwing out some really great down tilts here. I'm glad he's um, throwing out more boxing moves, like you were saying, in this match. It's really working out for him. He's has him at 61%, already 40 more percent than when we last oh checked on him. Is that I don't remember what he bucketed before, but another thing to uh, remember is that he actually gets to keep his bucket even after losing stock. So if he gets a full bucket right now and Temp uh, eliminates Vader's stock, then he'll still have a full bucket. Oh, he's oh. trying to go for that key. We see him doing that every time he goes for the edge guard. Look, he'll throw it out again. Yeah, that's so potent right there because if he misses the key on the way down, Great tech coming out from Temp, but if he misses the key on the uh, on the way down, he's still got the option coverage with the up B as we've seen before. Wow, he's trying to go for that top, throwing it out there on the stage, but he's able to deflect it. Let's see what he uses. Great use of the laser. Oh, great down smash right there, catching the neutral getup and Vader down his last life. He's still got uh, a mostly charged bucket, so. Here we go, throwing out the bomb here. Wow, really great use of the neutral air there because, like we were saying, Rob's moves are oh a lot forward. And let's see if he can finish it off with the turtle. There it is, and he does. A 2-0 victory for Vader here in this 